Hi, I'm Willie Miller. I'm going to teach you how to arc weld today. Now, what you need, you need your arc machine. Right there, I got my R200. Bought that from Murray's Auto Park. Woo! Best store on the face of the planet. And then you got this part of the arc machine. This is the clampy thing. And then you got your ground. You need that. That is necessary. Completely necessary. You also need your wire brush with the chipping attachment. You those chipping hammers with that are separate from the wire brushes ain't no good because what if you lose one? They're both necessary. Necessities right here. And then after that, you need your welding rod. They got lots of kinds. I got myself some 613 here. They are good size. They burn good. And I, you put it in the clamping thing. You clamp your ground to the thing you're going to weld. Then you grab your wire brush with the chipping accessory attachment and you clean the surface. Clean the surface or else you ain't going to be able to weld. How are you going to weld if you ain't going to clean the surface? Alright, after that, you turn on the machine. Now that the machine is on, you're going to need this right here. This is also a necessity. The mask with the shade, I forgot what number shade is, I think it's like number 12. But you just need, can't use sunglasses, that ain't gonna work. I tried to trust me, I blind for like a week. After that, grab the mask, kind of get the arc on, kind of, kind of strike it like a match, what the box is. Oh, get it kind of going. Oh, well that does not help me now, does it? Hold on, people. Willie sometimes messes up too. Okay. Woo! Alright. Here we go. Why is this working? What the fuck? Alright, hold on. Oh, adjusting of the ground clamp. That's another thing you gotta do. Sometimes your ground clamp will come loose. You gotta stick it back on there. There you go. Strike an arc. When you get your arc on, just keep it going in a nice bead fashion. Just keep it going, nice circular motion. Keep your arc at. Keep it nice and good. Don't do any crooked damn beads. We don't like to see that in the weather world. Will it make straight beads? Oh, fuck my shoe. All right, it's okay. It's okay. Just brush it off. Brush that dirt off your shoulder. And now it's red hot, as you can see. Sometimes you got you got blow on it. Okay, you can use a hose, you can use a water bucket, but I got a damn shopping cart, can't stick that in a water bucket, I've squirted with a hose. But I ain't gonna use that. And then you just chip it off, oh, 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 in my mouth. Ooh, that really hurt really bad. Hot damn. Ooh, I think my tongue's burning, I ain't gonna taste nothing for a week. Fuck, that hurt real bad. You gotta chip off the slag is what we call it, the little top coat, you don't want. After that, with the wire brush, back and forth motion. We don't want none of that horizontal shit. Back and forth, back and forth. After that, look at that. Perfectly straight B by, by Willie Miller. You ain't getting nothing better than that. Now today, I hope you learned to weld with Willie Miller.